welcome welcome back to my channel my book loving friends my name is christine if you're new here and today we are starting a very fun romance filled weekend reading vlog okay hi i've been in the biggest romance mood as of lately and i don't know why but I, it's probably because of like you know february <laughs> but um it is friday it is currently seven o'clock in the morning it is 7 a.m i'm about to go to the gym hence the outfit but let's get into what i plan on reading this weekend so if i read anything else that will be a miracle because if you guys don't know i've been in a little bit of a slump so there's that but the book that i plan on reading is the sweetest remedy by jane agaro i'm excited i think everyone knows how much i've been dying to read this especially if you saw my tbr if you guys saw my February TBR where I didn't shut up about how much I wanted to read this book, like, even not picking it, I knew I was going to end up reading it anyway. <laughs> so it's fine. We're here and we're going to read it, okay? So, yeah. Uh, so it's currently Friday morning. I'm about to go to the gym, hit some chest, shoulders, and triceps today. And then after the gym, I have to come home and shower and then get ready for work. I hope I have a little bit more time. I don't work until 11 today, so I'm hoping I have enough time to shower and just chill for a little bit. But I gotta get the heck up out of here because it's already 7 o'clock and I wanted to be at the gym like 20 minutes ago. So, love it. Okay, so I'm going to do that and I'll see you guys whenever I start it. Bye. <laughs> it's fucking cold it is 21 degrees in jersey people like why like why is it 21 when it was just 47 yesterday i don't understand this anyway as i'm shivering and waiting for my damn car to warm up i'm taking my pre-workout because i'm about to go to the gym but today i have a little bit of plans i want to share with you guys so let's get into a little bit of an update okay update so i didn't really get to read that much yesterday unfortunately um which kind of sucked because i did actually really want to read a good amount um but because of the fact that when i got home last night guys i was exhausted i knocked out at like 9 30 last night like i fell asleep but i did manage to read a little bit last night during cami sprints shout out to my girl cami um so i got to chapter 9 i'm on page 45 so i'm not that far in but guys this is good it's good i'm really liking it i'm not even that far in and i'm already really much enjoying it so i'm excited to kind of see where else it goes um for today i um have some plans first things first we're gonna hit this gym workout i wanted to have done the gym workout already but everything was dead my phone was dead my airpods were dead my laptop was dead so i had to charge everything and that took like an hour um but after the gym i'm probably gonna go get some breakfast at this cute place um, it's an acai place but it's a portuguese owned acai place which makes me happy um so i'm probably gonna go there and have some acai and a galão which is just the portuguese word for latte and have a good old time probably read a little bit while i'm there maybe get some editing done i should get some editing done because i gotta post this vlog tomorrow and i'm not even i haven't even started editing yet <laughs> But there's a lot of stuff to get done today. First things first, gym. Then we're going to get some breakfast. Then we're going to do some laundry. And then we're going to clean the house. So things are going to get done. Hopefully the audiobook's going to get listened to because I got things to do during that time. Um, and that's it. I'm going to go ahead and chug the rest of this pre-workout. And hit the gym because I think my car is finally warming up. I'll see you guys probably at the gym. <laughs> Sunday and 
I am getting ready to go to the coffee shop. So yesterday, I think I showed you guys I was editing at the coffee shop, but I literally ended up editing the entire video that I like actually just posted. So if you guys haven't checked out my weekend reading vlog, then go check that out. But today I want to go back because I really want acai bowl. I wanted to get an acai bowl yesterday, but I wasn't in like a sweet mood. I ended up getting what's uh we call it a doshtamishta, but it's literally just a ham and cheese and a pork cheese roll that's like panini down but so good um so that's what i ended up getting yesterday i shouldn't have and i also got a uh pastelnata with nutella oh my god was it super super good but let's do a reading update i didn't get to read as much as i really wanted to yesterday i was very busy by the time i ended up finishing all of my laundry folding everything and then actually cleaning a little bit and doing everything it was time for me to get ready and then i had to go because i had to go to my cousin's gender reveal and it's a boy my cousin's having a boy and i'm so excited i can't wait but yeah everything's happening and i'm super excited i can't wait for that but let's get into a reading update so i did end up reading a little bit i was reading a little bit this morning as well i'm currently on chapter 16 i'm on page 102 so i'm gonna try to read all, as much as i can i probably won't end this vlog until i read this book um, even if I don't finish it today, it's fine. I really wanted to squeeze in the love hypothesis, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, I do have the audiobook for the love hypothesis. It actually was available on Libby. I got the notification. The wait was like 12 weeks for it, but I was like, you know what? Let me just put it on hold to see what happens. I got it in like three days. It was so weird, but that happened anyway. So I'm going to continue reading this way to Remedy. I'm, by the way, really liking this book. I didn't realize that a lot of it actually took place in Nigeria, which I'm really, really liking. Um, we haven't really gotten any romance anything yet, so I am waiting for that. I do want a little bit more of the romance, but I'm loving, loving the family dynamic in this. I really am enjoying them having to kind of understand what's going on so for those of you who probably don't know because i didn't know um this follows hannah hannah lives in the u.s um with her white mother and her father was nigerian but he was never really a big part of her life um but when she finds out that he died he made it a wish that he wanted her to be there for the funeral so that she can meet the family and turns out that her father actually had a whole family in nigeria he had many kids he has a wife in nigeria and everything and they were unaware that he had a child out of a cheating relationship with a white woman in america so she ends up actually going to nigeria to meet her family she did not really want to um and it's a lot because she comes to find out that not only was her father a good man but he was also a good wealthy man and he just he did a lot but it kind of makes her feel a certain way which i can completely understand that type of aspect um but oh my god is this written so freaking well um like she is just discovering her nigerian culture she's coming about what she missed she's discovering more family she grew up a, a lonely child an only child not a lonely child she grew up an only child and now she has all these siblings who are a little hesitant to take her in that is one part that i am a little bothered by most of her siblings that found out that she was you know their sister and there's a lot of hate toward her because i don't even know why though because technically she didn't do anything wrong it was her father's fault her father had all the time in the world to tell this family about her and he never did um so it was a complete shock to everybody and i can't speak to how people would actually react in this type of situation but it was bothering me and pissing me off a little bit that they were really going after her and it's like she has no wrong in this like she wasn't asked to even do this nor was she asked to just show up out of nowhere it's just literally what ended up happening Anyway, the story is really, really good. Um, and I'm having a really good time reading it, honestly. Um, I want to actually continue reading it. So I'm actually going to go to the coffee shop. Um, it's not even a coffee shop. I don't even know. Like, it, it's kind of like a cozy coffee shop feel. Um, and I just like the way it smells because it smells like a Portuguese coffee shop. Like a Portuguese bakery type coffee shop. Like, ugh, I don't know what it is. It just brings me nostalgia. So I'm going to go there again. Probably get a latte and an acai bowl and have a really good time um and read that's something what i wanted to do i don't want i'm not even bring my laptop so i don't get 
editing um because yesterday i wanted to read and i didn't end up reading so i ended up editing the entire video and then doing the thumbnail for it so <sighs> that happened so i'm trying to read today that's the goal we're gonna try to read i would ideally like to finish this today but if i don't it's not the end of the world it's fine um so yeah let's go to the coffee shop and make me shut up <laughs> actually just left the um coffee shop that i love to go to i think this might be like my new favorite place because there's like this really cute little section that you guys probably saw me reading in because i definitely took some b-roll um it's like a cute little corner and it's just like the most aesthetically pleasing place i've ever been to and i love it with my entire heart um and i read a shit ton so i have no idea where the heck i left off with you guys um but I read a lot. So I got here at 9.30. It's currently 11.32, okay? Like I've been here for almost two hours and I literally just read the entire time I was there. Um, so I'm currently on page 207, guys. Like look at how much I actually have left. So I read a lot when here, like guys, this is a lot. <laughs> so I read a whole bunch when here and I was super stoked about it and I'm very happy about it. I am going to see if I can try finishing this today but i do have to go grocery shopping and stuff today so hopefully i can continue this and read it and finish it so that way we have a very cute little weekend-esque reading vlog anyway so i'm waiting for my car to warm up i'm actually about to go back home and when pablo's leaving the gym now so i think he's probably gonna want to get something to eat i'm not really hungry but we are probably gonna end up going food shopping soon so we're probably gonna do that i'm gonna try listening to the audiobook as much as i can but i'm very happy with you out of like reading i just didn't, i haven't gotten that much reading done in i don't even know how long but not only did i get reading done but i also got like pictures for instagram and i did my thumbnail as i listened to the audiobook here like guys like i think you guys saw this thumbnail right like the really cute picture in my thumbnail is from this place and i'm here for i think every single picture that's in my thumbnail is from here that i took today because it's just that aesthetically pleasing like it's so cute and i love every single second of it but i did want to let you guys i meant to give you guys an update and i forgot so update i'm loving it oh my god it's giving me five star vibes i'm probably going to end up giving this five stars it was a five star prediction because i loved ties that tether and i think this book's even better than ties that tether uh, not only is the romance, I like that it's flushed. I like a good flushed romance. Um, I love Lawrence, who is the male love interest in this book. And I just love how finally this family is already, like, I just love that finally the family is starting to accept her. And it's just oh, so much joy is happening right now. And I'm loving this book. So we're gonna go home. I actually have to film a clip for a new video um, that I'm going to be doing. <sighs> Dang it, it's gonna take some time, but it's fine. So there's that, um, and yeah, that's that. I have to edit a little bit today too, 
but nothing crazy i just want to start editing this vlog so i can go up on wednesday at a decent hour yo i've been actually posting at decent hours like on wednesday i think i posted at like 9 or 10 a.m today i posted at like 8 30 a.m like i like getting my videos up nice and early because that way it gives me time throughout the day to answer all the comments um, and I just prefer to do it in the morning. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm gonna go home. I'm hopefully gonna read. I'll check back in when I have another update. Okay, bye. Okay. Obviously, I had to take a shower. I meant to film this before I showered, but I forgot, so we're here. Um, but I did wanna mention that I finished the Swedish Remedy today. I actually finished it this morning at work. Um, I wanted to finish it yesterday, but um, I got my period. I don't like the way my hair looks behind my ear when it's wet, sorry. Um, I got my period yesterday and I had the cramps from Satan himself, okay? My cramps were so bad, I was just so moody, I was in not a good mood. Um, and I just, I picked it up a little bit yesterday, I only had about 30 pages this morning left. Um, and it was so good. Five out of five stars. Probably going to probably be in my top ten of the year not gonna lie even though it's february i'm yo this book is high this is one of my favorite romances i've ever read it's one of my favorite books i've ever read not just romances in general like there were so many aspects to this book that you just don't expect well that i didn't expect at least because i just didn't know the synopsis of this book but the the acceptance and forgiveness that you see in this family is so beautiful the story in itself is just a beautiful story and the romance is really cute and I really enjoyed the romance but the romance honestly is kind of like a back burner in this book which I actually thoroughly enjoyed the romance was good but it's I wouldn't pitch it as a romance book if I am being honest with you because the romance is there but it's not the main premise like the main premise is her family and her getting to know her culture and I loved that and the the romance is kind of just like a backstory and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was beautifully written, absolutely stunning. I could not get enough of it. I loved it. I'm giving it five out of five stars. This is one of my favorite books that I've read and thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed. Oh, I actually got my nails done. Hold on. I got Valentine's Day nails. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a J and a C because my boyfriend's name is Juan. I love my nails. All right. Look at how cute that looks. I'm just, uh, I'm obsessed with them. Let's not talk about how much they were, all right? Because these are my natural nails. And the, okay, we're not getting into that. <laughs> but yes, a five out of five stars. I love this. I actually had a really good time reading this weekend, y'all. I think I am out of my slump. Um, But I am going to close off the vlog here. I was going to see if I can try to squeeze in one more book, but I'm not going to do that to myself <laughs> because I have a video that I'm specifically going to start probably tomorrow. Um, and I think I'm going to just probably mood read in between and then get more into other stuff in my wrap up because as I am trying to figure out now, I don't know if I'm the only one that does this, but I don't like reading books unless I'm filming it, which is really weird to me. Like I really want to read the love hypothesis, but the part of me is like, oh, just save it for a vlog. But I have the audiobook from Libby now. <laughs> Um, and I want to read it now, but I'm like, oh, it's not going to fit in this new vlog that I'm filming because I am filming a new vlog, a special Valentine's Day themed re like, reading vlog, and I'm very excited about it, but obviously I'm reading a specific book, um, and anyway, we're getting off track. I don't know what the heck I'm getting into. Anyway, I'm trying to teach myself that I don't have to read a book just when I'm filming a reading vlog. I can read whatever I want to read whenever I want to read it. I don't have to film the entire experience. <laughs> It's just hard to do so, um, but yeah, so thank you everyone for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please stay tuned for some more bookish content from me, and I'll see you guys in a video coming soon. Bye. What do you believe in? Mm -hmm.